Hey guys, Alden Rio back for another video here on the Pagan Perspective for Friday. I'm here in the park that you've seen me in for the last few days. Um, I hope you guys can hear me through the mask. Um, in this particular park, we're very close to Washington, D.C. So a lot of people are health conscious in this area and they all wear masks uh, whenever we are passing people and things. So most of my video will be in a mask. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to try to work with the audio and see if I can uh, fix that for you guys. But this week's topic, we are talking about how hard science connects with our path and whether or not uh, we use it in our path. Um, and what I'll say about hard science, um, I honestly, I'm a big fan of science. I'm a big fan of understanding the mysteries of the universe. Um, if you've noticed some of my videos where I do voiceovers, I talk heavily about science, I talk heavily about space and things of the nature. So personally, my views can be a bit uh, strange, so I'll just go ahead and tell you. I feel as though all these creation myths and things, I think many of them leave out the existence of uh, extraterrestrial beings. I believe that the planet Earth was seeded uh, by another species, something that was more uh, far superior to the human race. And as such, uh, we're still trying to find ourselves. We're still trying to understand um, things from the magical standpoint. I, again, I believe science can kind of um, unravel the mysteries of um, of our creation. It kind of gives you the real step-by-step uh, -step the way uh, deities have conducted things. One of the reasons why I believe so heavily in the idea of extraterrestrials and aliens is because there are many uh, beings, including angels, that literally help you with planetary magic. Uh, there are many spells and there's many covens who work with planetary magic these are pagan uh, uses of magic that allow for the existence of beings from other planets. So this is something that's quite shocking because you don't normally get that with religion. It's usually very, oh, you know, the person created Earth in so many days or there's a mother and father spirit that was born here and died here and you'll do the same thing. So that's the way I see it. I feel like extraterrestrials can definitely connect with your particular magic. Um, I've also had dreams and I've gone on different shamanic journeys where I've been able to contact some of these beings. So I most certainly believe in the existence of supernatural uh, occurrences in space. Um, and I think as humanity uh, extends ourselves further out into the cosmos, uh, further out into the cosmos, we will learn more about these particular situations. Um, for people who are into spirit keeping, um, you guys already know these conjurers, they have been able to grab and make contracts with beings from other planets. So you guys, this is not new to you guys. You guys already know. You're in the know. You're in the cool club. You know, it's the, it's the ones who haven't quite experienced this, who don't really know uh, about this situation. They're learning. And uh, some people can be in denial about it. And some people can be shocked and awed about it because they have to question everything that they know. And that's evolution, right? I mean, even in science, even the most sophisticated scientists on Earth always says these few things. They never have a rigid mind. They are always willing to accept new evidence to change their mind. They don't have a fixed mindset. Scientists believe in facts. Scientists believe in applying those facts to change how their model works on reality. So a scientist, a true scientist will never tell you doesn't really believe in absolutes. They believe in evidence. They believe in proof. And that can kind of clash with the supernatural because with the supernatural, people can see it, they can feel it, but scientific tests can't confirm it. It could be another universe? I don't see why not. Because back when we thought Earth was alone in the universe, we learned that there are other planets, that the Earth is just a planet, one of many. Well, the sun is surely special. No, the sun is one of 100 billion <laughs> other suns. The galaxy, the Milky Way. No, the galaxy is one of 100 billion galaxies. How about the universe? We have philosophical precedent to suggest that why should nature make anything in ones, okay? <laughs> uh, everything else we ever thought was unique or special, and we found more of them. So. So philosophically, it's not unsettling to imagine more than one universe. We also have good theoretical grounds for suggesting the existence of a multiverse, where our universe is just one of some 
countless number of other universes coming in and out of existence with slightly different laws of physics. Right. We, uh, as, as, a, as a society, we like to use tools to measure the existence of things. And you can't always do that when it comes to the spirit realm because at this point in time, we don't have anything that's solidly, uh, that is agreed upon in the scientific realm to measure the existence of spirits, to measure the existence of uh, extraterrestrials, at least not publicly. Uh, you know, some of you watching this may have um, you know, gone on journeys and spoken with different beings and things. And for you, that could be 100% the truth. And for other people, they may think that you are somehow uh, hallucinating or that's just a figment of your imagination or you're on some kind of crazy hallucinogenic drugs and things. <laughs> it's cool. So the universe that we know, that we can observe, must have all been in one place for a moment. Mm -hmm. And now it's spreading out all over the place and it's accelerating out all over the place. Mm -hmm. And do you know why it's accelerating all over the place? Uh, gravity? Nobody knows. <laughs> okay. And so that's why we made up these fabulous words, dark energy and dark matter. This, these are the thoughts that people have uh, when it comes to magic and different realms and things. So I like, I like to keep that in mind. So yeah, I hope that answers the question. Like I firmly believe in all three types of science and I believe they can inter, uh, connect and explain the ways in which our deities created all that we see and hear. So I wanna know what you guys think uh, down below. Um, let me know, like, do you believe in these three different types of, types of science? Do they connect with your path? Um, do you use them uh, at all? Um, are you afraid to talk about your pagan leanings with your colleagues? Uh, you know, let us know down below. Uh, also, I have a couple of announcements. Um, I've got a new podcast that's coming soon. My wife and I will be discussing uh, things of the supernatural realm, um, and we're going to be tackling spirit uh, keeping and things and such on there, as well as demonology, so you guys can actually see what we've been doing over the years. I've been very secretive. I haven't been telling you guys everything that I've been doing in my private life. Uh, some of you have seen that, that I've been in a lot of, I've been, I've been traveling quite a bit. Like if you go back and watch the Pagan Perspective videos, I'm always in a new place, always moving. And that is because we were having demonology appointments. We were helping people with sticky situations. Because of 2020 and the way things have kind of turned and we're seeing a huge spike in people who need our help, uh, with the spirit realm, we have decided to go 100% public. So my personal channel is gonna be filled with videos talking about demonology. Again, we're launching a new podcast. So you're gonna be seeing a lot more of my closed life. I even revealed my wand last week. I don't normally do these things. I've showed you my altars and things. I'm, I'm starting to kind of come out of that shell because I'm noticing people are needing help more and more and more these days. There's so much racism and bigotry out there and my wife and I have found that in our professional field this is translated over to the public in ways that they don't even understand so um, I've got all my links down below if, if you want to follow my projects um, go ahead and go ahead and click on those links down below I would love to see you over on my website over on the forum um, as we dive into some of the more darker areas of the unseen world. So anyway, I hope that answers the question for you guys. Stay, stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, blessed be.